It's time for another rave review. All right, if you're going to make a TV show called uh, The Great, it better live up to its title. And the way I'm standing, it looks like I'm being crowned. I love it. I'm going to step over here. That was perfect timing. I didn't plan that. Uh, if you're going to have a show called The Great, it better be great. And it's referring to Catherine the Great. And this miniseries is about her rise to become the Empress of Russia from 1762 to 1796. Now, this is also an occasionally true story. In fact, the opening of every episode, there's a little asterisk and it says, an occasionally true story. So you know they're taking liberties with the actual storyline, but at least you know that going in. Now, for those of you not familiar with this Hulu original, take a look at the trailer. Because to my new wife, the Empress of Russia. Huzzah! It is... No, you don't talk, my love. Oh, of course. Be an enormous responsibility and honor to lead a country of such import. It's actually not that hard. I would like to be useful to Russia to help its greatness. You will bear my ass. There is no higher use. Rabbit. Together, we could create a greater Russia. Well, I rule. You, sir. I like to be alone in the morning. Now, we shall create the day together with sunny dispositions and fearless hearts. We shall discuss whether or not to kill the Empress. She is a strange creature who I sense is at times laughing at me. There are unhappy men here looking for a leader. If the Emperor dies, Russia goes to the Empress. Russia must be saved, and I with it. I don't want to kill you. You're not a bad person. I could kill you. You are a bad person. <laughs> You're funny. Treason is what we're discussing here. It's a dangerous game. Do not worry. All is bliss in the court of Catherine the Great. Touche. Do you mean touche? This show is so great! I love it so much! I like this show. <laughs> Kelly, I haven't seen it yet and she likes I like it. it. It's so, okay. I went in thinking, okay, impress me. This show is so good, I'll be honest with you. It came out May 15th, and I've been watching it very, very slowly because I don't want it to be over yet. I don't want season one to be over. No. I'm taking my time. I'm on episode seven, and I'm stretching it out because I don't want it to end. Elle Fanning is magnificent. She is actually the younger sister of Dakota Fanning. Remember Dakota Fanning? Yeah. Yes. She's the younger sister. She's only, I Googled this this morning, she's 22 years old. That's her? That's her, 22, and she's stinking amazing in this role. Like, I just am amazed by her talent. Now, I also want to talk about this guy. He plays Peter the Third. He's the son of Peter the Great, mm. but he's more like Peter the Terrible. I mean, okay. he's just horrible. He's, <laughs> he's horrible. A, he's a horrible person. He's a horrible person. She and that's how him. you know it's a good actor because you hate the character. Right. We talked about we that We talked yesterday. about that yesterday about not really hating people because they're playing a role that they're on TV. He, Nicholas Holt is... He's fantastic, and you're really like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for Catherine to take over. She could kill him because he's a terrible person. And, and you wouldn't feel bad in the show. Said. I know! <laughs> and you wouldn't feel bad. I also love this show because it's what I call a Google show. What I mean is, you're watching this, and every so often I'll pause and Google if that actually happened. Oh. That's why I like it. I'm learning some stuff. Now, it, it takes liberties. Like, it says, this is not true. It's based on real events, but they fictionalized a lot of this stuff. But what I'm doing is, I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if that happened. I'm Googling it, finding out, and I'm actually learning about Russia in the 1700s. It's educational. Mind you, this show is not for everybody. Caution, alert. It is very adult. A lot of violence. Mm. Adult situations. Mm. And themes. And brief nudity. Oh, no. I hate to even say it. There is, it's just... I'm saying just, hey, if you're offended by that, the show is great, just go like this when that comes on. And just be like, don't, just don't watch. Sometimes I have to do that. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, this is too uncomfortable. But again, just imagine being taken from Germany, marrying a guy you do not know, mm -hmm. becoming the Empress of Russia, and then planning a coup to overthrow the government. Oh my goodness. It is so good though. And the accents is good. And the only thing I need to Google right now is, this is in Russia in the 1700s, yet they're all talking with British accents. Shouldn't they be talking with, in English with Russian accents? You would think. I would think! This, 
I'm telling you, I don't even want, I don't want to finish the show because I don't want it to end. Because during this pandemic, you know, things aren't shooting right now. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea when season two is going to happen. So I'm oh. trying to enjoy the great. You can watch it again. Well, like, oh, I should. Mm -hmm. And then I can Google you, more facts. You catch things you didn't catch the first time. That's so true. Thank you. I need Kelly in a little balcony up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, no, it's perfect. Just telling me. Oh, you're right, Kel. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> uh, so The Great on Hulu, 10 episodes. It's so great. Now, I want to tell you about other shows. Now, this next one, Kelly Wood love. It is on Netflix called The Big Flower Fight. It is addicting and amazing. I actually finished this one yesterday because I knew I'd be talking about it. Taking people from all over the world and having them build the most amazing sculptures out of flowers. Oh, I would love that. It is. Oh. And they have characters like you would not believe. What is this on? This is on Netflix. Okay. The Big Flower Fight. It is fantastic. I mean, flowers, some they're trying to make sustainable, like planting in dirt. Some are just cut flowers that are just pretty. Yeah. Uh, it is such a great show. The Big Flower Fight is on Netflix right now. Another show that just returned last week was At Home with Amy Sedaris. Season 3 just dropped. I'm telling you, this show is so funny. It makes fun of lifestyle shows, which is kind of like oh. us. And like Martha Stewart, anything you see on Cooking Channel is taking that prim, proper person, but it is so funny and it makes fun of crafts and food and cooking and home entertaining. That is like us. It is, but it's it's a spoof kind of, and it's mm -hmm. so so funny. I love you, Amy Sedaris, so much, and she plays a lot of different characters in the show. Oh, okay. Which is fun. Yeah. Uh, also, another show that's coming out this Friday, I'm excited about, but I'm also leery about. It's Space Force. Starring Steve Carell, John Malkovich, Ben Schwartz, Lisa Kudrow. Uh, this is from the creators, of the ones who brought you The Office, like Greg Daniels. Uh, now, I'm a little bit nervous because I did not like the trailer. And some of the early reviews I've seen have not been kind. And I told our producer right when I saw the trailer, I'm like, I am not crazy about the trailer. So I'm hoping it's better. That comes out this Friday. Also, I'm very excited about this next one. This is uh, called Dirty John. Betty. It's the Betty Broderick story. Uh, this is a spinoff of the Dirty John uh, podcast that they had on Bravo last year about Dirty John. They're taking another story. It's actually real. It's about Betty Broderick. But it's Amanda Peet, by the way, and Christian Slater. The one I remember is from 1992 starring Meredith Baxter as Betty Broderick called Woman Scorned. Mm. And it was like a three-night, two-hour event. I'm telling you, Meredith Baxter as Betty Broderick, nobody comes close to Meredith Baxter Love her. as Betty Broderick. It's so good. But again, I'm going to watch because it's a real life story. That it, it's crazy. You have to watch it. You've never heard of Betty Broderick? You have to watch it. That comes out June 2nd on USA. Please don't go anywhere. More fun on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. I'm exhausted after that review. <laughs> there was so much to get in. That was. So much. Woo.